The first question, my six-year-old non-Muslim stepdaughter is participating in her school's Christmas musical. And my wife, who is new to Islam, is asking me if she can go, if she can attend. She knows that I'm firmly against this, but she's really struggling with it because she doesn't want our daughter to resent her for not participating in her school stuff. Additionally, some of my wife's non-Muslim family are pressuring her to attend and accusing her of not being supportive. What do you advise in this case? Barakallah Hufiq. Bismillahi walhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man tabi'a hudahu amma ba'd. As far as the issue, first and foremost, within the question uh, that my six-year-old non-Muslim stepdaughter, then the first issue that needs to be addressed is that which is related to the statement six-year-old non-Muslim stepdaughter. If it is that one of her parents is a Muslim, and the origin is that that child number one, remains upon the fitrah, and number two, follows the parent that is upon the deen of Allah Azza wa Jal. Uh, and so if the child lives under your roof and is nurtured by you and your Muslim wife, and the origin is that she's a Muslim, and that which is applicable to her are the ahkam and the rulings of Islam, as the Prophet ﷺ mentioned, مَا مِنْ مَوْلُودٍ إِلَّا يُولَدُ عَلَى الْفِتْرَةِ فَأَبَوَاهُ يُحَوِّدَانِهِ أَوْ يُنَصِّرَانِهِ أَوْ يُمَجِّسَانِهِ There is no newborn except that it is born upon the fitrah. And the abawan, that is his parents or her parents, make her a Christian or a Jew or a Magian. And so the origin is that before they reach the, the age of bulugh, before the child reaches the age of either tamyiz, number one, and then bulugh, number two, which is the age where the sharia becomes binding upon them, which is either uh, with the male by way of three things, one of three things, that is that they have either A, they have a wet dream, or B, they grow pubic hair, or three, they reach the age of 15, uh, and with the female, there is a fourth affair, and that is that she begins to have her menses. With any of those four things, they now become mukallafin, and they are now bound by the sharia. But prior to that age, then, they are considered children who the pen is lifted from, and who, in terms of the deen of Allah, Azza wa Jal, is concerned that they follow their parents, and they follow the best of the parents, in relation to deen. And that is, they follow the, the parent whose deen is in accordance with Islam. Yani they follow the Muslim. And so since the child lives under your roof and is nurtured by you, then the origin and the asal is that that child is a Muslim child. And so this statement, my six-year-old non-Muslim stepdaughter, uh, is, I believe, an erroneous one. And Allah Azza wa Jal knows best as far as the child participating and that which is related to the school festivities and the school celebrations then if it is possible uh, if it is mathalan, that the, ch the school has a day for the establishment of these festivities then if you're able to prevent the child from going to school on that day, then one would do so if there is no issue. And ordinarily, schools do not have a problem with the child not participating in a practice that may oppose the deed and the religion of the family. That is ordinarily the case. Uh, uh, no doubt things are rapidly changing across the globe, but in most places, that is still the case. Uh, and so it would be better uh, to uh, to uh, prevent the child from going to school on the day of that uh, festivity and the day of the celebration. Uh, based upon the fact that 
the origin is until they reach the age of bulugh that they're upon the fitrah. Uh, and so if she's six years old, then undoubtedly she would not have chosen a religion for herself or a deen for herself. She's upon the religion of her parents, upon the, the original religion of her mother, her father. And so if she's living under the roof of your house with her Muslim mother, and the household is a Muslim household, then inevitably she's going to be nurtured as a Muslim child. Uh, and so the origin then is that as parents and as those who are in charge of and have under their jurisdiction minors who they're responsible for, part of that responsibility returns back to them determining that which is good for the child and, and uh, encouraging them with it and making the means towards that easy and that which is bad for the child and preventing them from those things that are bad for them and nurturing them upon that prevention. Uh, that is what is wajib upon every parent, that if they have children, that they nurture those children upon refraining from that which is bad and participating and having love for that which is good and that which is considered upright. Therefore, when we're speaking about a festivity such as celebrating Christmas and the Christmas musical, then not only do we have this celebration that is problematic, but we also have another one of the manifestations of sin, which is the participation in music, which is a musical. And so there is no doubt that by whatever means one is able to utilize and use, that the child should be prevented from participating in this activity. Uh, and ordinarily, if the parent speaks to the school and expresses their concerns, the school will ordinarily oblige the request of the parents. Wallahu ta'ala a'lam.